Shalom Yasharala, this is Yeshaya. Just wanted to talk to you about something that I learned about last week. First, I want to read the scripture for it. Uh, Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and write grievousness which they have prescribed. So, what I wanted to talk about is uh, something I learned about in business. Because, you know, banks, banks can loan to um, Amalek. And y'all know who Amalek is. But the problem is banks are usually owned by Amalekites. So it, now business doesn't stop. See, a righteous decree is, let's say I have a bank and me being an Israelite and I have to loan money to another Israelite. I'm supposed to just get back whatever the fuck I put out. I'm only supposed to charge interest to other nations, to heathens. <clears throat> but Amalek has a loophole called the uh, a heater iska where they charge interest in a very weasel roundabout way. Now, you got to understand something. Those of you that have lawyers that are of Amalekite descent, you know, those are people that are experts in taking advantage of rules and laws, right? That's why the, the, most of them are lawyers. That's why they commit a lot of fraud and get away with it, right? They, they bankrupt an economy simply by being in it, being involved in it. You know, every once in a while, you, you know, you hear about one of their communities, a whole bunch of people being arrested for committing welfare fraud. Why? Because they know that system in and out. You know, they talk shit about black and brown people, but the ones that's taking advantage <clears throat> of the economy is them. So what what's what's a heater iska? A heater iska is if a Jewish person, oh sorry, if an Amalekite wants to borrow against another Amalekite, right? He doesn't charge interest. They don't call it interest. They treat it as a as a, um, what's that called? As an investment, right? So basically they split it up into two. Half of it is you have to pay it right back, right? So let's say I loan an Amalekite and I'm and I'm Amalek. I, own a, I, I, I loan them $1,000, $500 they got to pay back to me. And that's not uh, interest. That's just what you got to pay back. $500 of that, <clears throat> is a is a um an investment so now you have to pay me profits as a form of paying it back so you got to give me back five hundred dollars but also you got to give me back money that you made so that you can satisfy the loan that i gave you so it just goes to show you the scriptures say woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. Now it's nothing wrong with you know the practice of one Amalekite loan and another Amalekite money. Let's let's say that that law did apply to them, right? And they were the real people of the book. <clears throat> why 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 don't you just wave the file? Like why do you have to? Your, your decree, a heater iska, is a way for you to still profit off of loaning me money or loaning one of you, one, each other money. Like you're actually oppressing each other with that. I mean, maybe not because y'all businesses do boom, but the, the, the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, you know, you guys create laws Amalek creates laws to to uh, even get over on each other, <clears throat> and you think you're accomplishing, you're, you're you know you're you're complying with Torah when you're not. You're you're charging interest. You're just calling it profits. It's still the 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 concept, and this is why it's very important to all not just know the law, the scripture, the 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 God's laws, 
the Most High's laws, but also to understand the concept of them. Because that's what the problem is with Amalek. All they do is, you know, they they look at the way the law is stated. We keep it, or they keep it, the way the law is stated. They don't care about the actual purpose of the law or the reason why certain things are mandated by the Heavenly Father. I will smack fire out of nigga, man. These, these niggas need to stop driving around like they tough. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm sorry, y'all. It's just just people just just be doing the most. But um, but yeah, man. Truth be told, bottom line is, Amalek is evil, and we will have no such practices like that in the kingdom. We we are not going to look for loopholes like they actually. This is the second time that I've heard of a, of a loophole that's that's part of their their religious practices. Let's say they have a place of worship. I'm not going to call out their name, the name of their type of place of worship, but they have a place. You know, you know, you know what, what you call their place of worship. If they live, if I live next to it, what they'll fuck around and do <coughs> on their Sabbath. They'll ring my doorbell and say, hey, can you turn the lights on? We can't do it. I spoke to a guy that literally lived, lives right next door to one of those places. And I told him, you know, they, they do it. They, they asked you to do that because they think you're a heathen. Or they look at you as a, as a heathen. You know, he said he'll never do that shit for them again. But. You know, that's 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 just what they what they do. That's that's what they are. That's what they believe in. They they look for loopholes. So in their mind, yeah, they have the you know, the the idea that they're serving God, right? Serving the most high. But when you find when you're looking for loopholes and and oh, well, it doesn't say that. You know, all you're doing is really using semantics. You're not really serving the Lord. And that's why the scriptures cut them because you got to serve the Lord in, 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 in gladness of heart. Like you got to be happy to serve the Lord. When you're looking for loopholes, that means you really don't want to do what you're supposed to do. But anyway, with that, I'm going to say Shalom. I'm going to, I'm going I'm to type in heater. I'm going to spell out heater Iska in the, in the, um, what you call in the title. So if y'all want to look it up for yourselves, you know, cause I don't suggest y'all just take my word for it. Do your own research. But with that, I'm going to say Shalom.